Cubase 8 gives you the tools you need to take multiband processing to the next level. Multiband processing has revolutionized the way signal processing is done and provides unprecedented levels of flexibility and new creative options. If you're new to how multiband processing works, it's very straightforward. In a traditional signal processor, the entire audio spectrum was processed together. So the same settings were applied to the high-end, mid-range, and bass. In a multiband signal processor, the audio is divided into frequency bands, or ranges, and you can choose what to apply or not to apply to each band. Let's see this in action. Open an editor, and then click on the Insert Effects Rack. As a general rule, you should use any multiband processor as an insert rather than a send to take full advantage of the multiband functionality. You can see all of the multiband effects here. Let's start with the multiband compressor. Like any compressor, it allows you to control the dynamic range of your tracks. The difference here is that you can choose different settings for each one of the four available frequency bands independently to create broader dynamic range or simply to reduce unwanted noise. You can click and drag the edges of the bands to select the frequency range you want. You can really think of this as four separate compressors, each one looking after a different frequency range which you select. Consequently, each band has a full set of controls for threshold, ratio, attack, and release. One creative use of a compressor can be to bring out the attack of a sound by letting the attack portion through at full volume, then reducing the level of the rest of the sound. So if we want to emphasize the bite of the pick, the multiband compressor allows us to increase the compression on the key range of mid-frequencies, like this. This brings out the bite or attack of the pick, but leaves the other frequencies alone to help maintain a strong and balanced low end. You can also use the handle at the top of each band to adjust the overall volume of the associated frequency range. To take this example even further, we can adjust the attack time control on the critical band. And again, we leave the rest of the signal untouched. To help zero in on exactly what range you're working with, you can solo each band to hear it in isolation. or you can bypass each band to hear the signal without the selected range. And the multiband compressor also features a latency-free mode which enables the use of the plug-in in a live environment. Cubase also includes the multiband envelope shaper. An envelope shaper brings the control found in the ADSR section of a synthesizer's envelope to any signal passing through it. And the multiband envelope shaper lets you apply this control separately for each of the four frequency bands. It splits the incoming audio material into a maximum of four frequency bands and allows you to freely alter the attack and release characteristics of each band to rework the transient structure. Now one popular use of an envelope shaper is to bring out the details of a drum mix. Take a listen to this drum loop. Now open the channel settings editor and insert the multiband envelope shaper. Now just like we saw with the multiband compressor, what we have here is essentially four separate envelope shapers that can each be assigned to a specific frequency range. Drag the handles to adjust the frequency range. And here again we can solo or bypass each band to help zero in on the specific frequency that we want to work with. So if we want to increase the attack of the kick drum, center the first frequency band on the kick drum and increase the attack. Or if we want to adjust the hi-hat, set a frequency band around it and go to work. The multiband envelope shaper also allows you to control the level of each band or the overall level. And again, we can engage live mode for a latency-free performance on stage. 
The multiband expander is the mirror image of the multiband compressor. Like any expander, it reduces the output level in relation to the input level for signals set below a threshold. An expander can be used to enhance the dynamic range of an overly compressed track. Or, if set to more extreme values, it can be used as a noise gate to clean up quiet passages. And the beauty of a multiband expander is that you can fine tune exactly how much expansion or gating is applied to each of the four frequency bands. Another enhancement is that Cubase now offers a de-esser right in the channel strip. Not only will this help you to tame sibilance without having to add plugins, it also offers full sidechain support. This allows you to constrain the high and low frequencies only as needed. It also has a handy preview function that plays only the signal which gets removed. This can help you fine tune and zero in on the problem area. The multiband compressor also supports dedicated side chaining with the ability to adjust and monitor trigger frequencies individually for each of the four bands. Finally, there's an updated tuner plugin, which not only offers a bigger display for better readability, but it now features a customizable bass frequency and strobe tuning mode.